find Google Reader at www.google.com slash reader and log in as you would to any other Google feature. Google will probably try to get you to cough up a cell phone number. I've been avoiding this for quite some time. I don't think it's any of their business, but I suppose someday they'll require us to, have so to provide a cell phone number to use their services. When Google Reader loads, it offers just a little bit of text, encouraging you to scroll down through a whole lot of content so you can understand better what Google Reader can do. I don't think this is real useful because until you subscribe to something, it's not clear where the content comes from in the first place. So we're going to start by subscribing to a blog or two. There's a subscribe button up here, and we'll use it in just a moment, but first we need to go find a blog that we'll want to follow. I'm going to use my own blog, Your Small Kitchen Garden, which is at www.smallkitchengarden.net. When you land on a blog that you want to subscribe to, look for the RSS feed symbol. Many blogs will have it someplace near the top of the page, and it provides a hyperlink to the RSS feed of the blog. Some blogs don't use the RSS symbol. Instead, they have text that's hyperlinked to the RSS feed and the text might say something like entries RSS or simply RSS and they could be grouped in a section of the blog under the heading meta. So whether you have text or the RSS symbol you need to capture the URL associated with it and in Windows in most browsers you can right click and choose something like copy shortcut or copy link location depends on the browser. Once you select copy, go back to the Google Reader tab and click the subscribe button. In the pop-up, there's a text box. You can click the text box and then paste from the clipboard into the text box. You can use the edit paste option. You can right click and choose paste or you can even hold down the control key and press the letter V. Any of these should dump the contents into that box. And once it's there, click the Add button. After a moment, Google pulls in the contents from the blog you just subscribed to. You can return to Google Reader whenever you want to read the blog here. You never have to return to the blog site itself. When you have a bunch of these, it's nice to organize them, and you can organize them into folders. There's a Feed Settings drop-down at the top of the screen. Open that up and look for the New Folder option near the bottom of the list. Type a name in the resulting edit box. I'm going to call this one Garden Blogs, and then click OK. Google adds the blog that you just subscribed to to the folder. You can tell because it's indented beneath the name of the folder over in the left margin. Let's do it again with the second blog. This is Your Home Kitchen Garden, another blog of mine. This one we're choosing the text entry that says Entries RSS, right-clicking, choosing Copy Link Location or Copy Shortcut, then going to the Subscribe button, right-clicking and choosing Paste, and finally clicking Add. You can see the entry is in the list on the left, but it's not in a folder yet. It's outdented compared to the one that is in the folder. So we'll open up the menu, and now we can find the name of the folder on the list. When we select it, Google adds the new blog to the existing folder. So we subscribe to Home Kitchen Garden and to Small Kitchen Garden. To make your Google Reader particularly efficient, switch to List View. It's this button here. When you click it, Google changes the display to show just the list of the titles of the blog posts from each of the blogs you've subscribed to. Actually, which titles you see will depend on which blog you've chosen or selected over in the left side of the display. 
you save time simply by scanning the titles and if none interest you at all you can go to the top of the screen and click the button to mark all as read. In the future those won't stand out on the display. Any new posts of course will. If you see a blog post that you really want to review just click the title in Google Reader and it'll immediately open up to show the text and the photos of the blog post. You can read it right here. If for some reason you want to look at the actual blog, just click the title of the post in Google Reader and you'll launch right to the blog's website. Where, if you're leaving comments, as I've encouraged you to do, you can scroll to the bottom to access the comment form. When you've finished with the post in Reader, go back to the title bar, click it, and the post gets scrunched down, just the title remains in the listing. Using Google Reader this way, you could follow several hundred blogs, just scan the titles, and only read the ones that really matter. Visit the websites when you want to leave comments, but otherwise, just do your work in Google Reader and you'll save hours every day and still be able to keep up on what's relevant in your industry.